Hey what's going on guys, in today's video we are going to learn how to create a basic zoom transition inside DaVinci Resolve and we're going to also learn how to use the same transition in your other projects as well. So we'll be using adjustment layer to create our transitions. So yeah, um, let's uh, double click on your project and uh, once it opens up the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change our timeline frame rate so click on project settings and right now it's set to 24 if your videos that are shooting are in 24 fps then that's fine but it's if it's in different uh, frame rate you can select that right over here i'm going to select 30 and click on save then uh, just click on effects and uh, search for, and drag in the adjustment clip or you can even search for it right in the search box right over here just drag the adjustment clip onto the timeline and uh, by default the length is 5 seconds but uh, I don't want our transition to be 5 seconds long I just want it to be 1 second long so I'm going to go forward in time uh, until I see 1 over here 1 second then I'm going to use the blade tool and just uh, slice this layer up and just delete the extra bit now use the selection mode again and just drag this clip to the top now I'm going to quickly import uh, stock video footage just import it and uh, let's just bring in this onto the timeline like that so since our transition is 30 fps so i want uh, the first clip to be 15 frames long and second clip to be 15 frames long and uh, we'll just go to 15th frame like that let's just mute the audio and now use the blade tool to slip split your layer and just delete the extra bit let's just delete the audio as well drag in the second clip and split it up and just delete the extra bit so to create a uh, transition we'll need to go to fusion so let's just click on fusion to go to fusion tab and right click on the flow and set the arrange tools to grid and let's just bring this in the center right over here to create the zoom transition we'll need to use a transform node so you can click on this node right here that says media in now hit shift spacebar on your keyboard and now you can just search for transform or you can also type in xf to get the transform node and click on add so once you select the transform and uh, this is our timeline right over here which is 30 uh, 30 frames long so we're going to move our playhead to the very first frame and uh, create a keyframe on size so at first frame our size is one and i'm going to move to 14th frame which is uh, the frame before the next video appears and I'm gonna set the size to 1.5 you can obviously play around with the different size if you want more zoom inside this uh, transition you can set this to maybe 2 or 2.5 I'm just gonna set this to 1.5 and now we can go to the very next frame which is the 15th frame and set the size to 0 0.5 and once you do that you'll get these transparent edges under transform you have edges which is set to canvas i'm going to set this to mirror and now we can go to the end and set the size back to 1.0 all right so if we play this this is how it will look just a simple transition now we can further enhance this and uh, this transition by going into the spline editor and let's just make some room over here click on size and then click on this button that says zoom to fit and now I'm going to select the first keyframe, hit S on the keyboard to smooth that out. Hold the Alt key and just drag the handle to the right. Maybe right somewhere over there. Select this keyframe, hit S and I'm going to just drag this and put it over here. Select this keyframe, hit S, hold the Alt key and just drag this to the left. Select this keyframe, hit S and just bring this up like this exit the spline and now if you play this this is how our animation look so it starts slow and then in the middle it just speeds up and then slows down in the end as well while this uh, node is selected the transform node you go to the settings of this node and you will see motion blur you can turn that on and you can just crank up this value uh, so let's just set this to 5 and uh, if you go to the middle of our transition you can see the motion blur working over there so this is turned off and this is turned on now you can play with the quality higher quality uh, will take uh, more time to process 
so i'll just set this to two you should enable motion blur it's going to make your transition look much more seamless that's looking pretty sweet right all right so the next step is go back to the edit page and we can just get rid of these two uh, video tracks we don't want them anymore and we can just delete the video files as well from our media pool we don't want that and let's just bring this in the video track one delete the track two and i'm going to go to the center so this adjustment clip is our zoom transition we can go to the middle of this uh, transition which is 15th frame and i'm just going to add a mark road there so this uh, will determine uh, the junction of our clip so i can just type in junction and now to use this transition in our other projects we can let's go to project manager and let's just create a new project <clears throat> so um, let's say we are working on a new project so let's click on new and i'm going to name it project work I click on create and the first thing that we'll do is uh, we just have to make sure that the project settings the timeline frame rate is set to 30 because that is what we used in our transition and click on save and now we can import the media so i can just select these two clips and click on import I'm going to select don't change. I don't want to change the frame rate. Otherwise our transition will not work. It will only work in 30 FPS timeline. So I'm going to drag in this first clip and uh, I'll just drag in the second clip like that. And now we'll go uh, and use our transition, zoom transition between these two clips. So we go back and uh, go to zoom transition and uh, it says to want to save the project. Uh, yeah click on save and uh, once you are inside the zoom transition you can just copy this uh, transition select it right click and click on copy or control c go back and go back to your project and now you can just simply right click and click on paste so let's just paste it right over here and now i can just put this transition in between these two clips so since we have our marker already in the center it just helps us to you know uh, put things in the center properly that is how you can create a transition and then save it as a project so that you can use the same transition in your in your other projects as well so hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching this video if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments below other than that if this video is helpful don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.